Good morning. Today we are going to be discussing this article titled A Nonprofit Accountability Framework by George Candler, Georgia Dumont. They are from the Department of Political Science and Public Administration at the University of Florida, of North Florida, my state. A nonprofit accountability framework is a set of stakeholders that the nonprofits need to be accountable to. These typically include sector regulators, funders, and clients or communities. It can include a leadership team like executive directors and boards that are most accountable towards these stakeholders. Nonprofits are meant to serve the public good. So this framework, the accountability framework is essentially a way of measuring whether the nonprofit is successful, is being held up to the standards that it has set for itself or that its stakeholders has set for it. The accountability framework should also include policy impact, mission, and ethics. We'll get into more details for all of the, these. So in the first step of developing a framework, we should determine who is accountable to whom such as partners and allies, constituents, or the general public, for what they are accountable, such as financial resources, human resources, or information resources, and under what circumstances they are accountable. Some definitions used within this article include accountability, which is the duty to give a report or explanation, reputational capital, which is the potential of using one's brand name or logo to acquire resources and or political influence, and social capital, the impact an organization has on the community in which it operates. This does not only include financial benefits, but some of the social benefits as well. When considering accountability to whom, we can consider anyone directly involved or impacted by the organization. Some examples include beneficiaries, members, volunteers, clients or recipients, constituents who are critical for organizations that claim to represent people beyond members alone. Constituents have to have a chance to voice their needs. It can also include members. Members provide resources critical to the nonprofit's existence. They are often the reason why the organization exists. It is difficult to be accountable to groups that the organization claims to represent but who they cannot who cannot voice their opinions, such as the unborn, general values, the animals, or the environment. Donors can hold organizations accountable by giving or withholding funds, and the judicial branch gives legal accountability. Public scrutiny is key to the general public's perception of a nonprofit. Media assists with this as watchdogs of the nonprofit. Staff morale and adherence to the organization's mission monitors the accountability of the nonprofit. Partners and allies are important in collaboration and accountability for nonprofits. Research on accountability for what originates from an author called Cut. Financial accountability is very important for organizations contracting relationships with the government. Accountability for the management of volunteer resources is always extremely important. We also have output, outputs as an accountability for what subcategory. Organizations should adopt a culture of performance-based analysis. Policy impact is important for those organizations seeking to impact the government. Procedural accountability would include law, mission, which is the extension and interpretation of the organization's goals, Ethics, which are obligations to legal codes and missions, and legitimacy, which is proof that the organization is needed and necessary. Oops, skipped one. How to improve accountability. Ensure that your organization is not only considering one or a few groups of people in your accountability. Some accountability studies suggest that nonprofit accountability can include some 90 different components. This should be simplified based on your organization. Some of these relationships are less or not as relevant for some nonprofits. So the organization should create an accountability profile to manage what relationships are most important to the organization at hand. Accountability profiles will look differently and will look different in different fields, such as human service, policy advocacy, and arts and culture. 
Across the board, donors and members were considered most important for accountability. Constituents and the media are often ignored in past accountability studies. You can focus on these components to improve your organization, or we hope that future um, studies will study how the media assists in this process. Thank you.